All right, so Tony has some stuff to take care of. I am just getting the bus cleaned up. Also cooking some lunch slash breakfast spinach, sun-dried tomatoes with feta cheese, a couple eggs. Also, you might notice back here, my bed's gone. Give you an update here in a second. So, the mattress is set up from nest bedding. I got the organic cotton. It's a firmer mattress, and now that I have a mattress that is purely mine, because the last mattress actually came from Jim and Debbie's house, they ended up, uh, you know, not needing it, and I needed it for the bus. It was just meant as a temporary mattress. It's been awesome, but now that I have my own, feels more like a home now. I don't know, it's just a weird little thing, but I'd like to thank Nest Bedding for sending that over. I also have some bedding coming in today, just waiting on that to get here, as well as my gimbal, and also still waiting on Tony to uh, get his stuff done. Uh, the guy's super busy. Uh, we were just talking when I first got in, the amount of new schoolies, uh, people wanting to buy school buses for conversion is just, making the demand crazy for him so he's always running around trying to get that figured out but I'm very excited for the bedding to come in have a new mattress for myself as well as new sheets just super stoked about that also update show you what I have right here the hot water heater is on so as you see the AC load is about 1500 watts bringing in about 900 watts it did peak at around 11 earlier uh, the batteries are at 95%. Usually takes about 10, 15 minutes, maybe even sometimes 20 minutes to actually get the hot water heater uh, all the way warmed up. So once that kicks off, I'll unplug that so it doesn't kick on later in the night and drain the batteries, even though I think th those batteries would be completely fine. It'll be intriguing to see what happens with the AC. It might be a situation where I have to get more solar panels to completely run the AC, but that will be you know, later on once I do get that hooked up. I actually don't know how much the AC draws, but that 1500 watts on a sunny day, I mean, that's really no problem for that system. So just wait and see how that goes. I have been sitting here editing, getting some work done, and then later on gonna do some more real estate calls. That's been going pretty well. We actually, or I actually lined up an appointment for a guy who may be listing with us. Uh, he had good things to say about you know how my prospecting was so that's always good I mean the real estate job is just a side hustle it does take up a decent amount of time for the money I get but it is just that solid income coming in every day and you know the way that I structure it is basically have a set goal of how much money I want to make per day and that just supplements it because YouTube and the other side hustles I have it fluctuates all the time you never really know what it's gonna be so having that set $70 a day coming in from my lead gen jobs uh, that's been great and I'm actually going to be bringing somebody on to assist me with that and you know hopefully by early next week I have him onboarded and uh, making some calls for me both real estate jobs know that I planned on bringing somebody in to assist me with that what I was getting at is I think that might be something for the future maybe even having a set amount of digital nomads and actually set up with brokerages across the US and do lead gen for them I essentially train the people manage the people and come in and you know, handle any issues that happen, but I just have a group of nomads out there that are doing lead gen through a business that I set up. We'll see how that goes. That's, I still have way too many projects out there right now I need to finish up, but 
I'm gonna get back to editing and then make some calls and then whenever Tony's ready, shoot some video. All right, so new gimbal came in. This is the Zion Tech We Build Lab. As you can see, it's the creator package, has some gear on here, not sponsored, none of that good stuff. This is just uh, the gear that I need to film for tiny home tours. Monopod, this will uh, be used whenever I'm trying to get stationary shots. Be sure to show you sooner or later. But the gimbal can sit on here, has a uh, quick detach so I can uh, attach it if I need to. But say I'm filming a tiny home and I wanna get a wide shot, I can kinda bring it down like this and then slowly bring this back while focusing. This has a focus ring on it so I can change the focus of the camera. It's really gonna add a really cool dynamic to the channel. Camera belt, probably won't use this. This is the focus ring, so on the gimbal itself, I can change the focus instead of having to uh, go in front of the camera. Those that watch Tiny Home Tours, you might notice a little bit of a shake whenever I'm trying to do focus or anything. So everything that I need can be controlled by one hand, which will be fantastic. It'll make it so I'm able to get as smooth footage as possible without any shakiness. Just kind of make it more professional. Camera holder. I don't use that too much as well. I kind of like looking at the screen, but with that camera holder, what I'll be able to do is take my phone and actually see the footage that the camera is getting. So say I have the camera down here and I can't really see the image, I can have on the side of the gimbal uh, my, my phone so I can actually see what I'm filming instead of guessing pretty much. And these are the uh, quick disconnects. So as I'm filming, instead of unscrewing something and messing with it, I can just go straight into, just pop it off, put the new attachment on and I'm good to go. And the gimbal itself. This is the gimbal. Man, this thing is way more fancy than the last one I had. Basically, I'm opening it up right now because I want to charge the batteries. So I'll be filming with Tony. I'd like to use the new gimbal. I'm in the middle of working on my real estate job, so just trying to get this set up real quick, get all this stuff figured out. Well, just finished up with the real estate job and got the gimbal set up. With this particular camera and this lens, I need to figure out how exactly to get this set up correctly because it's not balanced. Uh, but this is an amazing little piece of machinery. I can't wait to get it going and see what it's like. Uh, the batteries are still charging, so later this evening I'll give it a shot. Right now, what I'm going to be doing, setting up the sheets on the bed. So this will be the full setup of my new bed. So Nest sent me their bamboo sheet set. Remember correctly, I got black and strike. Luxury bamboo sheet set. Awesome. You'll be sleeping in style tonight. Ooh, fancy. I feel like I'm adulting right now. I wonder if I can use this box for something. This would be good for wires or something this. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. It's definitely the fanciest part of the bus now. It's honestly crazy to me. Like, these are heavy. I've never had heavy sheets. Also, like, flat pillows. Can't stand fluffy pillows. Pretty... Darn cool. Moving on up in the world. So eventually I'm gonna have cabinets built on both sides of the bed here. Uh, air conditioner is probably gonna go right here. The mini split, super excited. Like I said, I feel like I'm adulting now. So cool, excited to sleep tonight. So that is it for today's video. Still off the grid. Still bringing in a little bit of power towards the end of the day. It's 
starting to uh, use a little bit of my wattage batteries at 13.5. Just drilling on the fridge, or the chest freezer. I'm gonna cook a quick meal, clean up a bit in here, catch y'all tomorrow.